Welcome back. This is all about Hubson. Some new news, updates, what's coming, where we're going to go. Let's have a look. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, I've got the Hubson Mini, but it doesn't matter. These updates apply to the Hubson Mini, the Hubson Zeno Mini, the Hubson Zeno Mini SE, the Hubson Mini Zeno Pro, and there's a new one that's coming the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro R. I'll put some pictures up here of what's been released so far and some translated images of what it's going to be. But as far as I can tell and the information I've got from Hubson, which is almost as hard as getting the truth out of a politician, because you never really get a straight answer, the only thing I know for sure is basically it's a Hubson Zeno Mini Pro with a more intelligent battery, which might be wireless charging but other than that it looks about the same other than it's black uh, I don't know more things to come I'll show you some pictures let's go but updates there's been an update for every single model of the Hubson mini series okay and I'll put another picture up here to tell you what it's supposed to update it's supposed to give a speed limit mode. I've looked throughout all of them, all the settings. I can't find anything. I've asked Hubson. I haven't got an answer yet. The next thing is it includes, okay, and I'll show you a picture of that. It includes also the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro R in the menu to select, although it's not been released yet. I don't know what happened to the Night King but we shall see. And also the flight enhanced, whatever it's supposed to be. I don't know what it is, but the big thing is, and it's not even mentioned here. It's not even mentioned in the update. Histogram. We now have a histogram and that's what we're going to talk about today as well. So we've got all that news about this new product coming, but for the whole gamut of Hubson minis, there's now a histogram. So if, you, if you're in a dark spot or a super light spot and you can't really see your screen, now you can adjust the histogram to be more accurate. And you have a better idea of what you're going to shoot. So let this, let's get this up. I've done all the updates. I've done all the compass calibration, the IMU, the gyro, everything. After a big update, you should do all that kind of stuff. It's been done. And you'll notice here a prompt comes up about you don't have the right serial number on your controller. I asked, I asked Hubson about that. Don't worry, it's a mistake. We'll fix it in the next update. Just click OK and bypass it. So there's another little glitch, okay? We're getting there. What we want to see more for the Hubson Mini is we want to see 60 frames per second in 1080p. We want to see 12 megabit to megapixel pictures. We want to see 48 megapixel pictures. We want to see some differences, okay? The camera that's on this, the 1 over 1.3, is an amazing camera. It has huge potential. It's just not meeting it. As it is now, it's a Hubson Zeno Mini SE with a better camera, a better lens. Dynamic range is better. The images are more clear, crisper, yes, for sure. But it just puts it over that 250 gram mark by one gram or two, okay? So, and then I asked them about their new one, the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro R. What's that weight gonna be? The only answer I got was the same as I got for the Hubson Mini. It's around 250 grams which means it's not being advertised as a sub 250 drone. We shall see, okay? Are they gonna shave some things here and there? If they came out with this with a LiPo battery, like Femi did, they could get it under the 250 mark. But as it is, this is 251. By far, this is the best Hubson has put out in a mini drone series, a travel drone. It's absolutely phenomenal, okay? I love it, okay?
okay? And the Hubson Xeno Mini SE, but the camera's not quite as good as this one, okay? Let's get it up. Let's bypass this prompt, okay? We're here, we're gonna switch over to video. And what do we have in the video? We're gonna look and we have 4K, no, 4K. And the only reason I don't do 4K is it just takes so long to render. And the images are phenomenal in 1080p, okay? I might go 2.7K, but for what I use it for, very rarely, very rarely. And it's a travel drone with an SD card, Asus. And that's the massive downfall of the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro, EMMC, internal memory. You take it on a travel, you've got to bring your computer with you, you've got to bring everything to get that stuff off of the internal memory, because once it's full, you can't use the drone. Okay? Anyway, Hubson Mini, here it is. Okay, when we go into here and we flip up a bit here, you see brightness histogram. When I hit that on, there's the histogram. And the way histograms work, I'm not a professional photographer, I'm not even an amateur photographer or videographer or whatever. I know a little bit about a lot, but not a whole hell of a lot about anything. So, there you go. Histogram, all I know is left to right, dark to light, okay? Left is dark, right is light. You want the peaks in the middle, you don't want any white spots on either end, okay? So if I go into there and I see the EV value, I can, if I bring the EV value up, that histogram should move over to the right because I'm adding more light. What's this? Okay, there you go, too much. Yeah, somewhere there, that's a zero. But we won't know because we're in the shade. We have to get it up first, okay? So there we go. Uh, switch over to camera, and again in the camera, all you have is single shot, okay? That's it, continuous shot, timed photo, panoramic, okay? There's no 12 megapixel, there's no 48 megapixel, but the camera is quite capable of it. I'm hoping they're gonna introduce it. Okay, so we have everything at zero, the histogram is there. Let's see if the histogram changes when we get it up in the air, okay? Here we go, up she goes. Okay, to my amazement, I've been flying the Femi X8 SE for quite a while now and doing all kinds of stuff with that, but compared to a Femi, this is glacier steady. Okay, absolutely, for Hubson, phenomenal. And it'll sit there until it runs out of battery and then just slowly go to the ground, okay? So we're gonna get it up and see if the histogram changes. So I might go out of focus and we're gonna switch back over to a video, okay? And we're in normal mode, I believe, yes. And again, that speed, I have no idea where it would be. It should be in the aircraft, but there's nothing here about speed, nowhere. And if I go to the version number on the bottom, version number, one, 06 and 110. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay, let's just start the video and I'll introduce the video when I feel it necessary, not right away. Okay, long press. There we go, 1080p. It hasn't moved. It's just sitting there. And all the Hubsons are like that now, okay? From the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro, the Hubson Xeno Mini, the Hubson Mini, and the Hubson Xeno Mini SE all have the same flight control inside, I think. And they're like that, rock solid. It's, it's amazing. Go back to the Hubson Xeno, the original Xeno. It would never be like that, okay? Anyway, enough of that, let's get it up. And I've, I've got my uh, tablet holder back on here. Remember back when I put that uh, deodorant clip in here? I just didn't like the way my hands weren't close enough to the sticks, so I like this, my hands underneath, I'm not blocking, I'm not blocking the screen at all, okay? The screen's pretty good on this Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, but it's not super bright. Here's another new thing coming. Hubson is introducing, get this, 
an all-in-one controller for their drones. And I'm assuming it's for everything that's on this program. I'm assuming. But it's coming soon, apparently. Can't wait. An 8-inch screen, integrated screen. Now, if I can find the leaked image of it, I'll put it up here. Okay? Excited. Am I going to get it? Yes, I'm getting it. I pay for it, the whole bit. I'm going to get it. Okay? Stay tuned for that. Anyway, back to this. Histogram. Is it going to change? Let's get it up in the air. Let's get out to the sun and see where we go. Okay, up we go. It's just so smooth and nice. Turn it around, get out of the sun. There we go. How high are we? We're only 19. Oh, we're going to go up to about 45. We can introduce that video now, I think. You don't want to look at me yapping all the time. There's 45-ish. Okay, bring that camera down a little bit. There we go. Notice the difference in that uh, histogram? So when we go over, we can't change anything. You have to stop the video before you can change histogram. So let's stop that video. Short press. Okay, let's go into here and let's look and see if we if we lower see how it goes down to dark up 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 okay we don't want to go that's about almost right so even just one down might be better let's try that one okay start that video long press okay let's go up a little higher and we're down to 41%. It's not for a long one. Full stick up. We're up to 60. We'll turn that way a little bit. I know there's a nice little lake out there I like looking at. Now, yep, the horizon's off a little bit. Can we correct that? Let's see. Left and right. Yeah, a little bit. But that is the contour of the land more than it is the horizon. Because when I go over here, it's steadier, see? You're up there, see? That's just the contour of the land. Because when I come back this way, nice and slow, I'll come back. And you can see that, yeah, it's the contour of the land. Anyway, let's go down and have a look at that lake. Okay, now see the histogram right in the middle? There we go. Let's go up to the lake. There we go. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. Okay. The camera really makes a difference. Okay. Let's bring her back. And we're just going to come backwards now. And you can see that histogram when we come back. Okay. Come back. There we go. I was bringing it down. Here it comes. I'm going to bring it down here. And come on down. Okay. So, uh, notice the histogram change all the time? It's really good. They did a good job. Good job. Gives you an idea. And if I couldn't see the screen, then at least I could see the histogram. Here it comes. There we are. And we're going to come this way. Look at us. There we go. Bring the camera up a bit. See the histogram. And we want to lighten it up a little bit. We'll stop that video. Want to lighten that up a little bit. Well, now we're going to switch over to the camera. And we're going to lighten that up a little bit. You see on the right side the whites because of the, the lightness. If I went into the dark here. Nope. I'd have to go the other way. Let's see if I can go over here. There we go. Yeah, okay. 
you got to be out of the white spots. Let's go backwards a bit. There we go. And if we come up a bit, see how it all moves over? That's probably too light. But anyway, we're going to take a picture there. There's one up. Maybe it's not needed all that. We'll try that. Okay, let's take a picture. We'll take another one. There we go. Okay, now we're down to about 29%. Bring it forward a bit. Okay, back in the picture here, somewhere. Okay, and it's just sitting there. Okay, and we're looking at us there. And we're down to 27%. I don't know if it's a 25%, it just drops, but we'll see. I'm not worried about it. It's absolutely rock solid. And again, all these updates, the histograms, and if you push the button for the histogram, it disappears. You go back in and you, no, you don't go back in there. You go back into the pictures, bottom, brightness, and it's there again, okay? And it's warning me I've got a low battery at 25%, okay? Uh, it's not gonna last too much longer, but uh, there you go. Uh, and the aircraft will automatically return. Well, let's see what happens in one second. Bing, down it goes. So 25%, there it is. It's got the skis on it. Yeah, 23%, there we go. Let's stop that uh, beeping and all that kind of stuff. We'll turn that off, okay? There we go. And we're all turned off. We just have the uh, screen recorder going. So that's all about the histogram, <clears throat> all that I know about the histogram, okay? To me, if I'm in the sunlight or I can't really see the image, it's a great feature. It helps me out. I can have a rough idea if I'm overexposed or underexposed. So it's a great little feature, okay? Hit it, disappears, okay? What more can I say? So what have we learned? We've learned that the histogram is now introduced across the line of Hubson Minis and Pardon me, Hubson Zeno Mini, Hubson Mini, Hubson Zeno Mini, whatever they are. There's so many of them. I think there's five or six different things you can get for them. Anyway, all kinds of Zeno Minis, Hubsons, Minis, whatever. The Hubson Mini, which is the one with the black accents, okay, to me, by far, well worth the money. Next to this would be the Hubson Zeno Mini SE save about 60 bucks or 70 bucks it's got a great camera but not quite as good as this one but it is a sub 250 drone okay. but anyway beautiful drone beautiful experience solid hover great video great images now we've got the histogram i'm still waiting to see what that speed limit is because you've got film normal and sport okay uh, but I don't know what the speed limiter is, okay? So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? Till next time, enjoy the outdoors. It's a beautiful day. It's almost fall weather. It's not stiflingly hot. It's great, okay? We'll see you next time. Take care.